So I guess, you know, one of the things, and I don't know if people agree with me, but just one of the things I want to throw out there a bit is that I think ultimately, you know, the challenge of an e-commerce business isn't so much in taking the payments. It's not simple. It's not straightforward. I think, I think the, the challenges of e-commerce, the main challenge that remains is really having a product that people want to buy. It still remains the challenge of a successful e-commerce business. And, and payments is just a means to making that happen. But if you don't have something that people want to buy, then then you have bigger challenges when it comes to e-commerce. But just as a starting point, you know, for the panel, so just to get everyone to introduce themselves, and essentially answering the question is, uh, we can start with Stephen at the end. So who is, uh, who is Stephen Leeds and what is Visa e-commerce? And then we'll move Excellent. to the panel. Uh, Stephen Leeds is my name. Oh, I'll have to do the same. Sorry about that, folks. Stephen Leeds is my name. I head up uh, e-commerce for Visa across the Middle East and North Africa. Um, the one thing that we were very excited about coming to do and today and presenting is to just highlight uh, from talking to a lot of people last night and talking to a lot of merchants across the region, there seems to be a, a great understanding of who Visa is, but very little understanding of what Visa does. And I guess I just wanted to take two seconds to highlight that Visa is the network that allows transactions to occur between our banking partners, be it card issuers or our card acquiring partners. Visa is the network that provides those or the ability for those transactions to flow, whether they're in a point of sale, which is the more traditional uh, retail uh, acceptance component, or actually now as we step into the world of online commerce. Great, thanks. Martin? Uh, I, I represent a company called Cashew. Uh, we are actually a product of uh, Jordanian entrepreneurship, I should say. Uh, even though I'm not Jordanian, but uh, my, the, ho the whole team of Cashew is actually uh, more or less Jordanian and we're, we're very much based out of Jordan. Now we are a, we started as a uh, e-wallet solution, uh, allowing people to buy online uh, if they did not have a credit card. And uh, we've been trying to get this uh, product, uh, uh, shall I say, uh, pushed across the whole region. Uh, so we're today available from Morocco to Iraq uh, and all the Levant countries and in all the GCC countries. Now lately, uh, the last two years, we've also added an additional payment method. So today we're actually a payment service provider that allows uh, our merchants to, to uh, accept not only the cashew payments but also uh, credit card payments including all the credit cards uh, and also direct debits and we also support uh, cash on delivery payments through one uh, interface. Thanks. Cyril? Hi, my name is Cyril Zemmerman. I am the founder and CEO of a company called High Media based in France and in eight other European countries, which does basically uh, online advertising and online payments, an advertising exchange in Europe, and we operate as well a payment solution exchange uh, in uh, Europe, Latin America, North Africa, Asia PAC, and in that payment exchange we provide payment solution which can be uh, mobile payment solutions, uh, e-wallets, or alternative payment solution like uh, debit cards or prepaid card or whatever. And uh, we've been doing that in payments since 10 years. And uh, having founded High Media 16 years ago, I think that uh, I remember what is an early stage development of a market regarding advertising and payments, and uh, which is uh, good. And, and in that matter, that's refreshing to be here today because I think we're in a similar stage of development than maybe Europe was uh, 10 to 15 years ago regarding the payments. So let's talk about that. Thanks, Paolo. My name is Paolo Zambonini. I head up uh, product and marketing for a company called Network International. We're the largest acquirer in the UAE and we are a leading payments provider all across the Gulf. Key part of our offering is issuing, processing, acquiring, and obviously we provide a number of platforms in terms of e-commerce and e-commerce gateways. So it's great to be here today with my colleagues and uh, look forward to the discussion today and the rest of the day ahead. Our key focus again is promoting payments throughout the region in a number of channels, products and geographies and uh, we'd be more than welcome to help you with any of your service provision for e-commerce platforms.
صباح الخير ويلكم جوردن ام فيري اكسايتد تو بي هير اي ثينك سم هاو جوردن از ان ذا ماب ان ذا ريجن فور اي تي انتربرنور شيب اند اي كوميرس ماني اوف ذا ايدياز اند كومبانيز ناو وي سي ان ذا ريجن ور فادر سم هاو ثرو اوت ذس كونتري سو وي ريلي ريلي اكسايتد تو هاف ساتش ا كونفرنس اي ثينك ان ذا ريجن اند اتس ريلي جاست ذات ات از ان جوردن تو ستارت از ا كونفرنس اند هوبفلي ويل هاف مور تو كوم ماي نيم از رونالدو مشحوار I'm the CEO of Sue.com. Sue.com is an online retailer and a marketplace uh, focused on the region. We operate in UAE, Saudi, Egypt, and recently Kuwait. What exciting about our business, not that only we sell a lot of thousands of products a day online, we are also a platform for businesses and sellers. Literally in, in hours, you are able to set up a store on the platform and reach the millions of customers that come to Sue every day. So, In a lot of sense, a lot of startups come to Sue just to start their ideas and test them and sell online. Uh, as an expansion to our mall or our portal, we also recently invested in a Jordanian company called Run to Sport. Run to Sport is a retailer focused on sports and sports apparel. Very exciting category. I love basketball, so it's just that we have a sports site. And as well as Sukkar.com, which was a portfolio company we had. Uh, it's focused on fashion, so to kind of complete our offering, where we have a fashion destination for the region. So I think, uh, you know, the, the audio troubles we've had is kind of reminiscent of the e-commerce troubles that we have a little bit. Uh, just when you think you have the microphone in your hand, it doesn't quite work the way you expect. It's a bit like having a payment gateway sometimes. But, uh, you know, I guess just to, just to start out, um, and we're going to try to keep this as practical as possible. So. For people that are either have e-commerce sites, are starting them, are thinking of starting them, just trying to stay really on, on the ground in terms of costs and what are the challenges and opportunities. But I guess just to start out is that I'd be interested to hear what everybody thinks of the question really of, you know, you know, is it a good time to start selling online? You know, are, are you better off as a young entrepreneur waiting two years or a year or three years for the market to mature a bit more? Is it just going to be more cost than it's going to be revenue right now? So just, if, I don't know if everybody wants to comment on that. Is, is it a good time to start selling now, or are you better off honestly waiting a bit and holding back on your money and you know, investing a year from now or you know, 18 months from now? So is the market here yet? So we've seen quite a bit of uptake in the last two years in terms of percentages of customers that buy on the Internet, that are connected to the Internet. Recent study that was uh, released in the UAE shows that 90% of customers that are online feel positive about shopping online. So it's not cool to buy on the internet. So I think from my point of view, it's, it's never actually early enough. You should start. If you think that you have a good product to sell, if you've thought out your service well, the customer, the internet, just a great ROI to market your products and sell to online. So definitely, I think it's positive. Oh, well, I'd, I'd also be very interested in contributing. Well, I would be interested in contributing. Can you hear that? No. OK. It's like Donahue. Thank you. Yeah, it might be easier. Um, look, from a visa perspective, and I, I appreciate that, uh, that we have some real business people here and some real people who want to step into uh, an entrepreneurial e-commerce website. What we've seen is uh, over the last 12 months, there were a lot of confusing statistics floating around about the region, and in particular in the GCC. Now, unfortunately, when we talk about uh, Rome and uh, stepping into North Africa, there's still a, a, a lack of information. It's a little bit of a vacuum when it comes to that, that area. But if we're talking about the GCC specifically at the moment, um, when I first arrived, and I've only been in country for about 12 months now, there was just zero market data on how we could evaluate the opportunity that was in the GCC. How does that break down by country? What are the specific barriers that each country has? And how can we overcome them, either through collect collective work through uh, with partners such as Network International and so on, or actually how can we address them with bigger players such as the likes of Aramex to look after the fulfillment solution and of course Google to help drive the search. Now from that report what we've seen is that the, if I can give some high level market stats because I think that that helps step us in the right direction probably will help then guide the conversation going forward. Um, from the GCC, we saw it was around a $5 billion industry. Um, now, when we define e-commerce, Visa defines e-commerce as any transaction that takes place online. 
Now that doesn't really, and it doesn't matter how that transaction is paid for, whether it's a debit card, a credit card, an alternative payment method, or even a cash on delivery transaction. We see it around a $5 billion industry for the GCC. Now, given the expected growth rates and current uh, trends, we expect that to grow on average around 30 to 35 percent up until about the year of 2015. So what, what that says to us is that anyone that is on the ground floor now will be able to take advantage of all those first mover uh, business process improvements, learnings and so on that will allow them to capitalize on the market not just today but of course as it grows not just organically but with the incremental changes that we're seeing being brought to market on a daily or an annual basis as well. So I guess that if we can define e-commerce as that then I think there's a really great opportunity to step in and take advantage of this really exciting uh, industry.